very good morning friends today we are going to again talk about abc of indian economy and today we are going to take alphabet y before we start let's have a wonderful view of the garden after holy wonderful view spring season flowers blooming around Delhi so congested so polluted in spite of metro coming thank you such a wonderful morning is a gift of nature in why today we'll talk about youth all political parties are talking about youth time and again we'll also talk about yugendra yadav since his name and surname also starts with y a wonderful personality soft spoken intellectual now coming to youth not only india whole international community is talking about the young population of india we are even younger than china people management experts politicians talk of reaping the demographic dividend in many of my earlier videos i have been talking about demographic dividend that is only possible if policy makers the politicians at the top are smart enough they lay down the road map in such a way that everybody gets job now the next government will be formed somewhere around 1st of june 2014 Now the prime responsibility is to create as much jobs as possible. Then only we will be able to reap the demographic dividend. <coughs> Care should be taken not to be in a hurry. Whatever jobs are created. 
they should be mostly in private sector because creating jobs in government sector if you create jobs in government sector it is good in short term say so 6 months to 1 year those who get jobs are happy but we should not forget that if they are not productive and if they work in a way the common babus have been working so far then the same people become liability on the economy jobs must be created no doubt but we must look at the output efficiency of the people employed in fact privatization should be encouraged to a larger extent that government should only work as work as a regulator government should in time to come in future <coughs> should still think of pruning the government jobs number of government jobs which are unproductive should come down because they are liability on the economy government should shed its fat every effort should be made by the next prime minister to remove as much fat as possible from the government bodies or if not and they will walk very slow like an obese person and our obese person not only walks slow he has a lot of <laughs> what we're talking about an obese person then walks walks slowly and a lot of pain in knees and so on so on because they get carry so much of weight on the body which niche is not meant for so what i mean to say is still there is lot of scope to prune the government jobs very important this should not be taken in the lighter spirit <coughs> care should also be taken not only to involve youth in jobs means we have to give them employment plus we also have to look after their body most of the youth nowadays moment they get job or those who are happy with their jobs they get involved in smoking drug addiction alcohol so on instead sports activities should be encouraged at school level university level asian games olympics at city level say delhi delhi government should sort of uh, every year there should be some of sort of sports sports affair where all games all sports activities are held and those at the top 1 2 3 should be duly rewarded so they that get get encouragement these people should get encouragement and then these sports men can think of working at national level sak level asian level then olympic level and so on <coughs> many a time we see moment you open the tv there are a lot of other activities going on some celebrity sitting on one side clapping giving standing ovation or this is it and so on to the youth who are doing some kind of sort of 
एक्स्ट्रा कलर एक्टिविटीज ओके दैट्स ओ फाइन आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट इट बट देन स्पोर्ट्स एक्टिविटीज आर मस्ट also case should be taken now there are so many entrance exam there is entrance exam for medical there is entrance exam for engineering architecture and all these exam should be held by some authoritarian body there should not be any leakage of papers now there are a lot of private universities private medical colleges private engineering colleges and so many private colleges have come up and many of them many of them are run by politicians now so much talk is going on in the youth that politicians are using their influence to reap, reap money from this private colleges now the next comment should take care in the sense that privatization is not bad but private colleges should be regulated in such a way that youth is happy they should get admissions they should be able to pay merit must be given importance now the responsibility of government to see that merit is given importance because in private colleges there is no doubt <laughs> money will be given importance whoever gives more money sometimes even eligible or not eligible if somebody pays high then that person is made eligible with fake documents this is the responsibility of the government that a due merit list is always made through an entrance exam and person should be called on the merit if the person on the top is not able to pay it then the person next to him or her should be called as per merit merit first payment second that should be the game otherwise my dear countrymen if things are not fair things are not transparent people are not accountable private colleges are not accountable then the same youth can create so much of problem that we cannot even think of so message is very straight forward we must channelize the youth in such a way that they remain physically healthy mentally fit and are productive for the government for the country so that india is proud of its youth <coughs> and coming to coming to our new politician who was previously a cephalologist a tv journalist now a senior member in aam aadmi party mr yogendra yadav a very nice person soft spoken i feel in the time to come politicians must be like yogendra yadav who are soft so many professional and educated person can think of meeting and talking something about the country otherwise so far the image of the politicians has been like sort of maharati gunda 
सम बोल्ड पर्सन होम नॉर्मल आदमी आम आदमी नॉर्मल इंडियन विल थिंक ट्वाइस और सो मेनी टाइम्स बिफोर मीटिंग बिकॉज दैट सेम पॉलिटिशन जो मीटिंग कैन पुट यू इन ट्रबल यू थिंग्स आर नॉट प्रोडक्टिव सो द मैसेज इज पॉलिटिशियन शुड ट्राई टू एमलेट मिस्टर योगेंद्र यादव I've seen so many times he is irrespective of the fact that so many times anchor person or the TV journalist have reasons so many questions some of which are uncomfortable but this man is always very to the point crisp and have answers very well. no being a member of aam aadmi party it is his responsibility to channelize the force of aam aadmi party in such a way that in the long run in the long run 5 years 10 years down the line people want to see aam aadmi party rising in a sustained manner in this lok sabha elections <coughs> everyone everyone knows that aam aadmi party was not well prepared but even then the efforts made and the results are very good so far but that need to be sustained sustainability is always a very big question in indian politics because earlier also earlier also many new political parties came like a big bang but they couldn't sustain so so far it has been seen that aam aadmi party as change the way the politics is done in this country now the same should follow after the lok sabha results aam aadmi party should under the umbrella of yogendra yadav and kejriwal should work in a way that is good for the country in decades to come they should lay the foundation in such a way that people will always remember them it's not that easy to win the hearts of 120 crore people even to reach them it takes time if the way aam aadmi party is working with people like yogendra yadav i'm sure slowly softly in a sophisticated way they will win the heart of the many indians because people are fed up with the traditional image of politicians wearing kurta pajama talking something else doing something else and making fool of the country people like yogendra yadav kejriwal they have opened the doors for many intellectuals professionals educated people now many educated people professional can think of entering politics look at many seats like chandigarh kiran kher udit raj raj babbar and so far it looks like the political parties are running short of good people and uh, yesterday in tv news channels many were talking 
that many celebrities have been parachuted like Kiran Khair to Chandigarh. Just imagine, a person like Kiran Khair will always stay in Mumbai. He will be hardly there, even if he has got property in Chandigarh. To have a property is not a big deal, after all they are so rich people. But then, I doubt if Kiran Khair will stay more than even 50 days out of 365 days in Chandigarh. So if people of that area have got the problem, whom they will go to? People want a member of parliament from their area who is at least staying for 150-200 days in their area so that in times of need they can always approach that member of parliament. So that is important. Politicians, member of parliament should be very close, not only emotionally and mentally but also physically. That's also important. People have got a lot of hope from our main party and KG Wall and Yukendra Yadav who are going to set new trends in time to come, I'm sure. There are many new things to be done. Still many things, new, th new things are required. And I'm sure people like Yugendra will open the door for low middle class and middle class people to enter into politics. That's the message. Man.